everyone, it's your girl Weeza and welcome or welcome back to my world. In today's video, we're gonna go over some favorites, but this is not gonna be like any other favorite video because I'm gonna chat about the products that I loved in the summer, which I will be taking into the fall. This summer, I fell in love with a lot of really cool things, but I thought it would be fun just to show you the things that I'm actually gonna to continue to use into the fall time because there are just some products that you only use in summertime, but that doesn't really like help you into the next month going forward because like summer's kind of over. Sad face, I love summer. I think this will be super helpful for everyone. Let me know if it is in the comments down below. I personally still love to have bronzy kind of glowy skin and kind of keep that trend going until winter. So you'll kind of see a lot of those kind of products today. And I like to have like more like a summery feel, especially for September still. I hold on to summer to the very last end because summer is my favorite season. But nonetheless, we got a whole bunch of things to get through. We got skincare products, we got some fashion stuff. Like I never talk about fashion stuff. And I told you at the beginning of the year, I wanted to start talking a little bit more about some fashion items, things that I wear. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I have a couple items, just all fun items. And then obviously I have some makeup, some skincare, uh, some hair care, I think I got one item. Just things that I love and I wanna share with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing my summer favorites that I am going to be transitioning into the fall season, then keep watching. So the first item I wanna talk about is a pair of slippers and they're these guys right here. These little cute smiley face slippers. They're like a Sherpa kind of fuzzy material. And if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen these slippers everywhere all over ads. The company that I see promoting them all the time is called Yellow the Label. So I went onto their website and tried to buy them, but they were sold out. I have no patience and I need things like ASAP. So I went onto Etsy and I found someone who was actually selling them. So I'll leave the link down below. I love these so much that I bought them for my friends for their birthday. I got them a black and a white pair. So they also have different colors as well. So these just make you so happy and like make you feel good. So these are super cozy too, like the inside. I've been starting just now to wear them, but they are super comfy. I'm just like trying to break them in into my foot and all that. At the bottom, they do have like little, um, what's this like? rubber so you can walk out with them like I take the dog to go pee in them which probably isn't a very good idea because they're white but they're super cute and I love them they make me feel so happy and they're super comfy and cozy next I'll go on to like the fashion ish item like my favorite staple of summer and they are biker shorts and I have them in so many different colors this is all just one style by the way so I just wanted to share one style that I really really love and they are the TNA cheeky I believe TNA Life Cheeky. I will also link them down below and I have them in all of these colors. I also have a green pair coming, like um, like a nice sagey hunter green. I think will be beautiful for fall. You can see this purple matches this. So I have like a couple sets that actually match and they're just super nice and like super comfy. I'll show you what I mean by them because Look at the waistband, they have like a little V in them. So it really accentuates your bum. It makes your bum look really nice. The logo isn't like in your face, like uh, in your face. And they are quite long. They're I believe a seven inch. So they're super comfy and like, I love the material, super soft. So I have all of these colors right here. So this beautiful purple shade, this beautiful red. Guys, this is such a beautiful red. You have to see it in person. Gorgeous, gray, you need a gray in your life. Little baby pink moment and just black. I actually have two blacks. I'm wearing the other black right now. They're just like, you need black in your life. I'll be wearing those as far as I can into September um, because I just love them so much. And then these will go away for next year, unfortunately, because it gets too cold here to wear shorts during the winter and the spring. Maybe spring, we can whip these out for spring. But yeah, if you're looking for a good reliable pair of biker shorts that don't cut your leg off and they're just super comfy and they come in a whole whack of colors. I highly recommend these TNA cheeky ones. They are amazing. My next favorite, which is kind of like my last like fashion-ish item is this bag from Lululemon. It is the go everywhere bag. So it's a fanny pack, but I just wear it like crossbody. I throw it over, wear it like this and literally goes everywhere with me because it's just amazing, especially for errands and everything. It's just like the perfect size. You can fit everything in there. Here's what it looks like up close. There's just a little Lululemon tag here, which I like super discreet. And then here's the strap. It's just plain with nothing on them. I know that some of these Lululemon bags actually have like the branding Lululemon, Lululemon all over them, but this particular one does not. I didn't want that. I just wanted plain. Then on the back, you have like a little zipper. I love to show my phone in here. It's actually pretty big. You can fit like a lot, a lot in there. I think there's like, yeah, there's receipts in there. So let's just close that up. And here's the main component. So it's just one big pocket. Then on the inside, you have the little Lululemon logo right here and a little mesh case. And then it fits everything that you need. So I literally just have my wallet in here, a little like lip gloss and my keys. My hands are free. I can do what I want. And it's just here. And I know my wallet is safe. So this bag has been an absolute lifesaver. They come in some cute colors, but 
I like black, like I'm just a black kind of girl. So <laughs> it's also really good for traveling to keep all your documents like right in front of you, close to you, especially if you're going to some of those like sketch countries or those places I like to steal. I always have like my backpack and then I have this in front of me and this holds my phone, my wallet, my passport, anything else that I need as I travel. And I know it's here in front of me and it's not in my backpack. Definitely, definitely been a favorite for me for summer and I will be taking her into the fall. Before I get on to makeup and skincare and hair stuff and all that kind of stuff I wanted to talk a little bit about perfumes because I don't really talk a lot about perfumes But I've been getting really into some perfumes But there is one that I've been loving like for a long time now It is the Ariana Grande cloud perfume like I'm on my like third bottle of this and I need to grab another one But it just smells amazing. It is such a good perfume. It comes in this really cute little cloud container I even have like the body spray. It's in the other room, but it's literally just a mist that you spray over you I just wanted to share because she deserves a shout out because she's actually such a really good perfume and I like to keep it in a little cloud holder I have a couple other I don't know if you can see it But I have a couple other of the Ariana Grande perfumes I really love all her perfumes, but this one is definitely one of my favorite ones from her The next perfume that I love is this one here It's a newer find actually that I just discovered it's called the sugarful by Michael Germain I hope I'm saying it right and it is the just the classic pink one I know they have an orange and they just came out with a blue and the blue one smells really really good So I think I'm gonna go pick the blue one up as well. This is a very sweet sugary smell so this is really nice just for like a day moment like an everyday kind of situation every time i've worn this i got so many compliments being like What's that smell? It smells so good. Just because it's such a fresh and like uplifting sweet smell, it's really, really nice. I really like the smell and it's super cute little bottle. It reminds you of like the old school sugar at the diners. Do you get that, that little vibe? Because that's what it's supposed to be inspired by. But yeah, this sugarful perfume is really, really nice. If you get a chance to sniff it out, let me know what you think. Next, let's talk about self-tanner. And I'm the type of person that tans all year round. I just love it. I love the glow. I love the way it makes me feel. And my current favorite one is this one here by Saint Tropez. It is the ultimate glow kit with Ashley Graham. She did a collaboration. And I think this is one of their best products they've ever came out with. I've been using Saint Tropez since like forever, since I first started tanning. Like Saint Tropez, that's all I ever use. It doesn't have that fake tanner smell. It smells so good. And the formula is a mousse. So it's like super light, super airy. And it just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. It's not like excessively dark, excessively orange. It just gives you a beautiful glow, which makes you just feel so good about yourself. This is what the product actually looks like. The nice can here. And it comes also with the mitt inside. That's why it's called a glow kit. And the mitt is just a simple mitt. It has like the Ashley Graham Central Pay on the back. The color that it gives you will be perfect for the fall because it's not too dark. It's literally really just a beautiful healthy glow so you won't look like orange and gross and like out of place if you use this you'll just look very glowy and radiant which I love that look continuing on with the fake tan situation I don't actually use the glow kit on my face I use these serums right here I actually use two and I kind of like use them together or by themselves kind of just depending on my mood and the first one here is by Saint Tropez I love their products as you can see and this one is the purity vitamins glow boosting serum so this one smells like sunshine in a bottle I love the way it smells and it doesn't feel gross and heavy on your skin that's a problem that I see with a lot of like face tanning drops and products they leave a sticky residue which is the worst when you're sleeping sometimes you have to like peel your face off the pillow I don't like that it's disgusting this one doesn't do that it's super nice it's super airy on the skin and just absorbs into the skin beautifully and then you wake up with a beautiful glow in the morning so I went and bought a new bottle of this guy to have it for fall and you can already see I'm here on it so you can see how much I love this guy and how much I use it the other product that I use is actually a drugstore product when I found this I was actually really shocked because it's so so good it doesn't have a smell it's not sticky tacky gross it's so so nice so this one here is the subline bronze by L'Oreal and they're the face tan drops so what you do is you just open her up and it's a little dropper and then you drop a couple drops into your moisturizer I put like a solid half vial in I go all out and then you rub it in with your moisturizer rub it all over your face when you wake up you're glowing for the price of this I think it's like 10 12 dollars you get such a beautiful glow I'm like here on this I've gone through two bottles this summer drugstore and a little higher end option both work amazing I have one hair product and then I think all the rest is makeup so let's just get through the hair product first what I'm gonna talk about next is this curl spray by coconut it is so good I love it. So I use this on days that I know that I'm gonna have curly hair or I don't want to like treat my hair. Days like this right now, I put a little bit of this in my hair before I started filming just to kind of keep the hold in my hair, keep the curls nice and like defined and beautiful. This stuff is a lifesaver. I brought this camping because I wanted to keep my curls and like frizz down because girl has frizz and I put this in my hair and my hair stayed so beautiful and so curly the entire time and it was just a godsend having this. I use it in conjunction with the curl cream but 
I only use the curl cream when I shower. I use this like all the time. Like I have this much left. I need to get, I need to get more. But it's so it just brings your curls back to life. So summertime, me, I love curly hair. I think it's always gonna be something that I'm gonna love. So I think it's really important to find a good curl spray that actually is good for your hair. The packaging is so cute. I love the yellow and the teal. And then the back of the bottle, I don't know if you can see it. It says no nasties, no lies, and it's PETA certified, natural ingredients, vegan, everything you want in your hair products. So I know that when I use this stuff, my hair is not gonna like fall out. So I've been really loving this curl spray. It's brought my hair back from the dead, took the frizz away and defined my curls. So I really, really have been enjoying this guy here from Coconut. Next is sunscreen. So I have two to share with you and they're different in their own ways. So the first one you've heard me talk about before and it is the Super Group Glow Screen. I really, really love this for days that I know that I'm not gonna be wearing like any makeup going to the beach every day running errands sits beautifully under makeup and it gives your skin a beautiful luminescent glow i'll do a little swatch and show you what the actual product looks like that's what she looks like not blended on the skin i'm gonna go there and just rub her in and it just kind of leaves such a beautiful tint to the skin of course as you like continue to rub her in she's gonna like disappear but that's the finish that it gives your skin and it's so so beautiful i love putting this on especially in your makeup when i want like a very luminous finish to the skin i have it on today so you can kind of see like a little bit of luminous my skin isn't very matte I think the matte look doesn't look very nice on me but I love like a luminous finish like this like oh, it's so beautiful as well I want to talk about this tinted sunscreen from the La Roche Posay so it's a 50 SPF and it's super light I'm gonna shake it before I actually swatch it and it's a super liquidy formula like take a look at it and it is super nice to wear just on days that you don't want to wear any makeup at all so I'm gonna rub this out and show you kind of what she looks like and she just blends beautifully in the skin. It doesn't leave a cast. I've noticed that some actual tinted sunscreens leave a cast, which no thank you. But this one just blends really beautiful in the skin and the tint isn't very harsh and very noticeable, but it does layer on the skin very nice, kind of evens everything out and gives you a very beautiful glow. Some days, I'm not gonna lie, I pair this with this and that's all I'll wear because the tint from this, the glow from this, perfect summer skin, but I've really, really been loving this. It's super lightweight and I'll even put this under makeup sometimes. It's honestly just how I feel and like what I want to wear that day. If you are looking for sunscreen and this is something that you should be wearing all year round, so definitely be bringing sunscreen into your fall months. Even the winter, all year round, you should be wearing sunscreen. No surprise here, the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Setting Spray is a must have for summer, all year round, you need her in your life. There's days that I've worn this and I've had a full face of makeup and she did not budge. She didn't go anywhere, she did not melt off. She stayed intact and stayed in place. It has a very nice smell too. I also saw that they have like a new scent out that I wanna try. This one is going down, down, down. I've used a lot of her, so I'm gonna have to pick up a new one for setting your makeup in place all day, sun, sweating, everything under the sun. <laughs> this is so good. I won't chat too, too much about this, but just know that this is an amazing setting spray and if you need a new one I highly recommend her. Something I've really been loving in the spring carried on into summer and still obsessed with today is cream bronzer and my favorite one of all time will always be the Chanel bronzer. I just think it's incredible as you can see I've hit pan on it like well hit pan on it. The color is perfect for my skin so I only need to put a little bit blend it out. It blends like a dream literally no other cream bronzer that I've ever tried has blended out as beautifully as this and it stays all day so it's just a perfect healthy glow. I it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just a very perfect glow. I use this to bronze up the face, I don't use this to contour the face. It is a little bit too light for me to contour, personally. I like a darker, more defined contour. I didn't use it today. I have another product which I'll tell you what I'm using right now. But this one's perfect for an everyday glow to pair with the sunscreen, just kind of bronze up the cheeks, a little bit on the forehead, give you a little bit of a glow. I wanted to set out to find a dupe for that Chanel bronzer because she could be a little bit pricey and I've heard everyone talking about these Soul Body Cream bronzers, so I got my hands on them and I hauled them in a current ColourPop haul. If you want to see that, I'll link it down in the description bar below so if you can go and check it out. But these ones are actually really good and they blend beautifully on the skin. So I use these for a contour moment. So I have two shades. I have medium and I have dark. So here's both shades side by side. This is the medium and this is the dark. For today's makeup, I have the dark shade on because I wanted a very defined contour, very like uh, chiseled look. So I put it 
on my forehead right here and just under the jawbone and it gives a very pretty super sculpted look on days that i don't want a super sculpted look but i want a little contour moment i'll go in with the medium they blend beautifully with a brush they blend beautifully with a beauty blender and they have quickly become some of my favorite bronzers to use on an everyday basis next let's talk about eyebrows what have i been using on my eyebrows because i get a lot of questions on my eyebrows i use the got to be gel so this is actually hair gel i just put on a little spoolie and i brush my hair up and let it set and it just kind of gives you a very faux lamination kind of feel then to go in to actually fill the brows i'm going in with these guys right here these are the nyx lift and snatch pens i have it in two colors and i kind of use the lighter color in the front and then go darker out on the tails here because i don't really have any tails so i really have to define that with a pen here's the color so i have it in both ash brown and soft brown they just give really nice like hair like strokes that's literally all i'm using i'm using these two products and i've been absolutely obsessed with mascara so i love putting mascara on even if i don't have any face makeup on i just love the way it defines the eyes makes you look awake and all of that stuff if i'm doing like a random zoom meeting for work i'll always be wearing mascara because it makes you look alive and well so i've been loving this new one here i don't know if it's actually new but it's like new to me and i just discovered it i actually really like lancome mascaras a lot i've been obsessed with the monster big for quite a while now i've chatted about it on my channel before but i found this one i wanted to give it a try it is the lancome hypnos drama mascara right there it has a really cool tube as well and the applicator is very different than what i would go to generally so look it has like a curve on it it's like kind of swirly and as i turn it you can see but the formula is super black. That's why I love Lancome mascaras. They are black. And I love black is black mascara. My favorite. I just love the way it looks. It is the only mascara I'm wearing on my eyes today. I did not like mix and match like I usually did. I just wore this today to show you how beautiful it really is. It is such a good mascara, guys. If you're looking for something new, this one here by Lancome has quickly become one of my favorites. I use her every day. Obsessed. You need it in your life if you love mascaras and you want to try something new. Give this guy a go. I totally should have did this one before, but this bronzer palette has been my ultimate favorite bronzer moment this summer. And I'm gonna continue using her. She's so affordable, she's so cheap. I actually hold her in my Essence haul, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it down below. But it comes with four shades. And these shades are just gorgeous. Blendability is there. Everything that you need is there and more. So you have the super light shade, a medium, and then I use this one here to contour. Combined with this one, it really just depends how dark I want it. So I used this one here today just to go on top of that cream bronzer and just set everything in place but this shade here is probably my favorite shade in the palette i like to use it to actually blend out and mesh everything together make it look nice and smooth because sometimes when you're doing a contour you can get these harsh lines and if you do this powder comes right in handy and just blends everything out and looks so seamless like i don't have any harsh lines on my face as you can see it's all blended beautifully it looks super natural like as natural as a contour can look so if i ever get a little carried away with my bronzer which happens a lot i go into her and blend her out and she kind of just makes everything look nice and seamless and beautiful and well blended lastly let's talk about lips so i have a gloss and like lipsticks to talk about let's talk about these lipsticks these are the artist couture lipsticks i've been absolutely obsessed with them he came out with some new shades some new pink tones and pink tones dusty mauves that's my thing obsessed love need everyone in my life so that's exactly what i did i bought every single one i also have another shade from him from a previous collection which i also really like so i thought it would be cool to show you that shade in this video as well the three shades that he just came out with are called july a moment and highly favored and these are all pink tones so this is what the actual lipsticks look like and everyone has like a different peach or a pink undertone so i'm going to quickly swatch all of them here i'm wearing this one right here a moment on my lips i actually have a liquid lip the melted liquid lipstick and queen b underneath and then i pop this one in the center just right here and kind of just worked it around and it looks super cute especially with this little like mauve eye moment that i have going on the thing that i love about these lipsticks is that they go on so smooth so creamy and they're not super dry and like feel gross on the skin they look really really nice here is the three shades that i got so this is july a moment which i'm wearing on my lips and this one here is a highly favored. So three very different pink tones, as you can see. I also have another one here. This is in the shade Power Play. And this is more of like a dark nude, which I will definitely be wearing into the fall. So it's more of like a brownish nude. So you can see 
how pigmented those are. I literally did one, two swipes and that's the payoff we're getting. Beautiful, gorgeous shades, obsessed with his lipsticks. They're so, so good. And this shade here, I see myself wearing a lot in the fall. Lastly, I wanted to talk about this lip plumper gloss situation from Essence. So Essence came out with a lip plumper called What The Fake and had hyaluronic acid in it. I think that's why I like it because it's super hydrating. Here's what she actually looks like. It's just a simple gloss doe foot applicator. I don't think it's very like super plumping. You're not gonna get like massively huge lips when you use it, but you're gonna get a nice plump situation. So here it is, it's just a clear gloss, nothing fancy, nothing special. There is a little bit of shimmer in there as well, which really makes your lips look a little bigger than it is. I totally don't have it on right now, so I can put it on and show you guys what it looks like. So here's what it looks like on. It has such a pretty finish. It does have like a cooling sensation. It's nothing wild and crazy that like you can't handle. It's just like a menthol, like a mint experience. So if you don't like mint, I don't recommend this product, but I love, I love it. I think it's, I'm just a mint girl. Like I'm the type of girl that eats the mint chocolate chip ice cream. Like everyone judges me, but I think mint ice cream is unreal. Anyways, back to this lip plumper. It's in the shade Oh My Plump. I only think they have one shade right now because that's all I could physically find. And it is super hydrating. With a lot of lip plumpers, I find that it leaves my, my lips really, really dry after I use it. Not this one. It has that extra layer of hyaluronic acid in there and it has like the like, I don't know, it just it just feels really nice on my lips. I've really been enjoying it since I've got it. And the best part of all, it's from Essence. It's from the drugstore. It's like five, six dollars. It works, it's cheap, and it looks good. So what else could you possibly want? So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you guys found some new favorites and things that you'll be taking into the fall with you. Let me know in the comments down below your summer favorites and things that you'll be taking into the fall with you. I want to know. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.